Hello, my students. Uh, this is your computer teacher, Mrs. Chiring Wangmu Bhutia, back with another session on computer. Uh, in this uh, video, you'll be learning about computer, the process that is followed, which is input, process, and output. Uh, then hardware, the definition of hardware and various examples. Software, the definition of software, its type and examples of various softwares. Then data and information, the block diagram of a computer in which we'll be studying about the input and output devices and its examples. And finally the parts of central processing unit. So when we talk about computer, we know that computer is a machine, right? So computer is an electronic machine or electronic device. Now, electronic device when you say ki butsa. See, electronic devices when you say are those devices that runs on electricity. Junche che electricity le matai kam karsa. So computer is an electronic device. Just let's say, hamro user ko pati bara input lien sa, tiyo input lai store karsa ya save karsa ya process karsa ra finally tina liki din sa, output din sa or the result. So, this is the process that is being followed in a computer. First, the user gives the input. User liki din sa, input din sa and then that input is processed by the computer and then the output or result is displayed on the monitor or the output devices. Now see, kuna amile abo everyday life ma examples in nupare bani kunai bani machine. See machines, sappe machines aru ki uncha banda khali chai it works in three steps that is input, process and then output. To understand this, I mean, let's take let's let us take an example, a simple example of everyday life. Okay, uh, washing machine ko bari ma bandungai. Washing machine pani aur a machine ho, so uh, it works in three parts. That is input, process, and output. Ra is ma kya karsa hai? Mile first ma we put in our dirty clothes in the washing machine, which is the input that is being given by the user. Tiyo machine tiyo din ki uncha? Tiyo machine lai tiyo washing machine le ki garsa? Dun cha ya washing machine washes the dirty clothes which is the process. Finally, hami le ki paun chau clean and dried clothes from the machine. That is the output. Similarly, hami le computer ma e nu pare bane. Let us take another example where we are adding 2 and 7. Alright. At first, uh, what we have to do is, Hamili ki garsa, Hamili keyboard go through bara. We have to type the number 7 and then the plus sign and the next number that is 2. Now, what the computer does it, computer will add the two given numbers that is 7 and 2. And the final result is displayed on the monitor that is 7. See, this is an input device, alright. Uh, computer ma hamili input ka bara din sa banda khali jai we give it through the input devices so the computer will take the numbers 7 and 2 and then it will add it and finally the result 7 will be displayed on the monitor See. the next topic is data all right agi hamili agi ko example ma when we are adding two numbers we gave the input that is 7 2 and plus sign what are this this are the data so data is basically data bhaneko chai ke ho banda khari chai yo chai raw facts and figures which has no meaning yan ira pani yo examples haru dekhi rakhcha timer le we have written We have given various examples like the characters A, B, C, the numbers 1, 2, 3, various texts, audios that we are giving as an input. So that is data. So when we talk about data, data is nothing but a collection of numbers, characters or symbol. Junche che hamili code kare da computer ma input ko form ma will give to the computer. Some examples of data may be such as uh, price of products, don't say product weight or numbers of items sold. 
Alright. Yeah, top of the key down to You all have seen that the computer data is being displayed in the forms of 0 and 1. Why is this? Because computer understand only binary language. That is composed of the numbers 0 and 1. Once feeding the data through the input device, like ABC and Iraqsa, it will be converted in the form of binary it will be converted in binary form that is it is made up of zeros and ones next topic that we come to is information all right uh, what is information information banekoche process data it is basically the summarization of the data that we are giving as input just the agiko example ma we have given the input when we were asked to calculate 2 and 7 hamile computer ma ke dio input ko rup ma we have given 2 7 and plus this is the input that we are giving right that is data when this data is processed and the result that is obtained is just known as information let us take a simple example of timetable timetable ma what are the data that are present just the data ko meaning ko anusan ma chai the subjects are there the periods are there the timings are there these are all data when we process all this and create a timetable that is the information our ko example ke linu saksha bhanda khari chai we can take the example of students mark sheet or result where we are declaring the percentage right the example ma hamile here bhanne chai jun chai marks hamile dindai cha ra marks dindai cha that are the data when we calculate this uh, marks and then derive the percentage then that percentage becomes information similarly students ko naam haru jab hamile store garcha computer ma we store them in alphabetical order all right the names itself a single name itself is data when this uh, names are being arranged in alphabetical order it is called as information the next topic that we come on to is the hardware now what is hardware all the physical parts of the computer that we can see or touch is known as hardware junai pani computer ko parts cha jo chai hamile naked eye le dekhnu saksha ra chhunu saksha ya touch garnu saksha that is known as hardware see here are the examples of some of the hardware's keyboard sa mouse sa monitor scanner speakers processor hard disk ram these are all examples of hardware then the next, next part is software now software is a set of instruction which is given to the computer to perform a specific task kunai pani instruction ya code jun chai hamile computer lai dindaisa in order to perform a particular task that is known as computer software here we see that the computer software is further divided into three parts that is system software application software and then utility software now the first one the system software so system software is a type of computer program that is specifically designed to run a computer's hardware or application program system software it is a type of computer program that is designed to run a computer's hardware and application program so it acts as a medium between the hardware and user applications just say for a simple example operating system that are being used amile phone mai hernu paryo bhane hami sabai le android ko bari ma sunek cha that is an operating system all right aru ko abo computers mai pati bhane hernu paryo bhane vc windows vc dos vc linux these are all operating systems which is in turn an example of system software so uh, application software bhanne ko chai kyo banda khari chai it refers to any software that lets the user accomplish a function or create a content it cannot operate on its own yaha dinai hamile dekhi rako cha a browsers ko agi maile alikati bhani halyo word processing software hernu pare banda khari chai hamile vc 
my MS Word. We take an example MS Word. MS Word later users only we can create a content, a document, you know, various resumes. So these are examples of application software. Lastly, we have utility software. Now, what do you mean by utility software? Utility software are those software that improves the function of computer infrastructure. It helps the user perform multi-tasks efficiently. Yani na amle examples dekhi rakhi utility software ko antivirus software, text editing software, file management software. Ra aur examples hai nu pori banda kadi chhe. We can also talk about refragmenter, which is used to partition the hard disk in a computer. Next, we come on to the image. See here we have uh, here I have shown you various examples of operating systems window xp bio windows 2000 bio window vista bio linux windows 7 these are all examples of system software the next one is application software we have uh, whatsapp icon we have uh, angry bird game we have various news channels these are all examples of application software now we come on to the next part that is the block diagram of a computer okay the computer consists of again like even three parts that is the input process and the output <coughs> the first one is input unit and then when we when we or the user gives the data then this data is being taken to the process data is taken for processing that is in the process part which is here we see CPU the last one is output now input unit banna leki input unit banna leki bujinsa banda khali chai it is a unit that accept any input devices ab input device banna le when we talk about input device it is actually nothing but the hardware that are used by the user to send in the data ra arko kaam input devices arko ke chha banda khali chai input device le ke garcha banda khali it is also used to convert the information that is in the human understandable language into binary form. Just say, computer is a machine and it on understands only binary language that is composed of zeros and one. So, your important come input unit input unit will also convert the in, uh, data that is being uh, fed into the computer by the user into binary form that is uh, made of zeros and ones input devices now here we see a picture of mouse and keyboard which are the most commonly used input devices uh, keyboard my area bane we see that it consists of alphabet keys from a to z then we see there are numbers from 0 to 9 and then we see some function keys f1 f2 till f2 l then we have keys such as enter key, space bar. So this all uh, buttons are there in the keyboard which helps us to give data to the computer. The next device that we are talking about is mouse. Mouse is basically a pointing device that is used to give input to the computer. Mouse here what I am doing is see I am using a mouse to point towards a particular image or object on the screen and we can use this mouse or pointer also to draw images on the screen and then uh, we can also use this to highlight a particular document now this mouse consists of uh, mouse has two buttons left and right and a scroll wheel in between these two buttons all right I'll show you the usage of this uh, left and right button and then the scroll button Okay, now we come back. Okay, now we come back to the main home screen of this desktop. Here we see a pointer or a cursor, a arrow like pointing object. This is the pointer or the cursor of the mouse. So mouse can be used to point towards various icons or folders that are there on the desktop. And then we can also use it to open this folders or icons. So, when we click on the left button, it is used to select or start the program. See, I am using the left button in order to open the folder. 
Yani rakin sabunlar. Yes, you see that these are the notes that I've created for you all, chapter wise, and then the notes that are there. Then there is the right button. When you click on the right button on the mouse, it shows various options that are available. Or we can see that it consists of shortcut menus. Here we can see cut option, copy option. We'll study this in the later chapter. All right. Then when we use this uh, scroll wheel, we can use it to move it. We can use this scroll wheel to move up and down in a document. The next input device is a joystick. So this is an input device. It is also a pointing device similar to a mouse. This is used to especially used for gaming application. It is used to play games on the computer. It is also used to control the movement of objects on the screen while you are playing games. It is it functions similar to that of a mouse. The next input device that we see here is the light pane. So what is this light pane used for? This light pane is similar to that of a pen. Amelie pane le ki gar sab banda kari. Amelie pane le we can use it to write our notes. We can use it to point to various objects. Ye tesari nai amelie yo junche computer ma use junche light pane cha. Te le ki gar sab sa amelie we can point objects on the monitor or we can also draw images or write texts. Tesari nai we can also select objects directly. On the computer using a light pane. The next device that we see here is the scanner. So, what is scanner? Scanner basically it works like a photo photocopy machine. Kone pani information junje amro documents or ducha. Amle suppose computer ma alnu pare amle kosa jalnu. We can make use of this scanner. See this scanner. You I guess you all have also seen it in the computer room in a school. So, eleki gorsa banda kari chhe. It will take take the information that is there on the paper. Don't even have a paper information. So, it like it goes like digital format. Ma convert kare ra. Amro computer ma store gorsa. So, photocopy machine ra yo scanner ma ke difference sa banda kare chhe. Photocopy machine like it goes sa. It will take the content that is there on the paper and then it will take out the photocopy or the hard copy of that information on paper there are scanner le chiki garcha banda khari it will take the content of the paper and then convert it into digital format and then store it on the computer now we come on to the next part of the computer that is central processing unit or cpu See, CPU is also known as the brain of computer. Ki na banda kare chhe. Kune pani data processing operations or jonche computer ma huncha, tyo chhe kole perform garcha that is performed by the CPU. It is used also used to store the information, the results or the instruction that is being fed or given to the computer. Basically CPU ko kaam ke ho banda kare chhe, ele computer ko jonne aur sabai parts haru cha telai control garcha. This CPU is further divided into three parts. Okay, the, that is ALU, which is also known as arithmetic logic unit, the control unit, and the memory unit. Okay, the first part of CPU is ALU, which is also known as arithmetic logic unit. As the name suggests, this part of the CPU is responsible for performing various arithmetic as well as logical functions. Okay, the uh, arithmetic functions bandale ab amle ki butcha banda kare mathematical functions such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, byo division, byo. Logical operation banal ki butcha banda kare chhe. Just the comparing operations that is being used. That is greater than, less than, less than equal to, greater than equal to, equal to. Then we also use the selecting operation. We also use it for matching of data. So basically ALU is used to perform the various arithmetic as well as logical operation okay now we come on to the next part that is control unit as the name suggests it controls the operations of various parts of the computer let's come back to block diagram of a computer 
यहाँ देखी रखो छा ये कंट्रोल यूनिट को बड़ा एरो इन यू सी दिस द एरो इज द कंट्रोल यूनिट इज कनेक्टेड टू ऑल द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स दैट इज ऑटोमेटिक लॉजिक यूनिट मेमोरी यूनिट एस वेल इट्स इट इज आल्सो कनेक्टेड टू द वेरियस इनपुट एंड आउटपुट यूनिट सो इट कंट्रोल्स द ऑपरेशन ऑफ numbers that is 2 and 7 as explained to you in the previous example we the feed or we give the data through the input device all right when the data is given it comes to the control unit in that is the part of cpu then this control unit in turns give that gives that input to the automatic and logic unit all right for proper calculation that is addition then that result is in turn saved into the memory unit which finally is given as an output to the output devices. The next topic is memory unit. Next part. Alright, memory unit like Jamniki Bonza. It is also known as internal or primary memory. So what do you mean by memory? A memory banalki bunsa. I'm the memory maki store gun sotsa. We can store various information, we can store various data. Tesserine I mean a computer memory mapani. It uh, it is basically used to store data and the instructions that are required for processing it will also store the result of uh, the processing that happens before it is sent to the output unit now we on come on to the next part that is uh, the two different types of memory unit here we see the memory unit is further divided into registers and cache memory so registers bandaliki butsa bandakhari it is used to quickly accept or store transfer data Registers bandaliki butsa bandakhari. Register quickly accepts, stores, transfers data and instruction that are being used by the CPU. Now, junaipuni input hamile. Whenever we give any input, the input will be first stored in the registers. When the system gives the output after processing, this result will also come from the output unit only. So basically this unit or this uh, part of the memory is used by the CPU for processing data that is being given by the users. The next memory is known as cache memory. So cache memory it is a very high speed memory which can speed up the main memory of the computer. It is used to hold those parts of data which are most frequently used by the CPU. It can be directly connected, you say cache memory, it can be directly connected with the CPU or it can be placed on a separate chip with the help of a bus connect. Lastly, we come on to the last topic uh, of this session that is output unit or output devices. So output unit output unit consists of those devices that are used for displaying the output or result. Alright. So Yes, like you got some other computer. I give first my family day here like he I'm a job or input dinja that we are giving in a human understandable language then the processor part or the process part of the computer converts it into binary form that is in the form of zeros and ones now if the computer I was suppose your computer lay Hamila output say the zeros and ones my dear bunny we cannot understand it right so the output device your primary function it will also convert the binary form into back into human understandable form let us see at some of the examples of output unit the first one the most commonly used output device is the monitor the monitor is also known as video or visual display unit that is commonly used so it yeah, I will take it up. So, okay, monitor it resembles a television screen that shows all the work that we are doing on the computer. Now, there are three types of uh, monitors that are used that are cathode ray tube CRT monitor, the liquid crystal display that is LCD monitor that are commonly used nowadays, and light emitting diode monitors that is LED monitors. So CRT monitor it is uh monitor or computer which were very heavy and it occupied a lot of space. 
all right on the other hand when we talk about LCD, LCD and LED monitors they are lighter and thinner the next output device that we are going to talk about is the printer uh, this is also one of the most commonly used uh, output device that we see so printer is basically an external hardware output device that is used to take print out of what appears on the computer screen ile ke garcha bhanda khari chai jun chai hamro computer ma electronic data store bhako cha elai liyera chai it generates a hard copy of it in the paper we can take either black uh, print, black and white print out or we can also generate color print outs using the printer uh, the next output device that we are going to talk about is uh, speakers speakers are also like commonly used it produces sound it is used to produce sound so it lets us hear music and other sounds that are played on the computer computer especially if you talk about laptops they already have built-in speakers or we can also attach or connect an external speakers to the computer this speakers comes in various shapes and quality that are available in the market the next output device that we are going to talk about is projector here a simple example projector ko hernu pare bhane hamile movie hall ma gaera movie edi rakho cha haina how is that image projected it is done with the help of a projector so projector are basically display device that projects a image that is there in the computer on some flat screen such as whiteboard it is generally used for showing presentation or videos that are stored on the computer to a number of people simultaneously the next output device that we see here is the headphones and headset headphones pani euta output device ho jasko through bara chai euta individual ya hami users haru le chai computer bara aako music ya sound hamile sunnu sakcha aru le nasuni gana ra jaba yo headphone chai jaba yo headphone chai is attached with the mic or a microphone then it is known as headset so headset say basically kaile use garcha bhanda khari chai jaba hamile chatting garcha ra game ma jab ra gaming garda khari jaba hami chatting garnu parcha teti bela hami use garcha ra this uh, output device is basically used for listening to the sound or music that is coming from the computer individually and when a micro when a microphone is attached to it it is basically used for chatting so that was the last topic of the day uh, today we studied about uh, computer the uh, the difference between data and information we also studied about hardware software we saw some ex uh, examples of hardware the types of software then we also studied about uh, <coughs> the block diagram of a computer wherein we studied uh, about the different types uh, different parts of the computer and then we saw some examples of the input as well as output devices so uh, students are i will be sending you the notes in document format in the whatsapp group that has been created you can download the document and then write the notes in your copy if in case uh, students are like kunai pani topic bujheko chaina ya ke doubt cha bhane chai you can personally call me up or send me a, a message in my contact number that you already have thank you